In the last video, we deleted most of the scene. Uh, today, we're going to delete George as well, and then add George and the rest of the elements of the scene back in to get to the second scene. In addition to setting the component list to uh, empty list, we're also going to set show dialog to false, remove George, the hero of our story, and then we're going to recreate everything. So we can reuse the same method again and again. So we'll just copy the George component uh, from the what we have up in the original onload method and we'll just recreate them. Although this is a lot of work, if we then have scenes three, four, and five, we can just reuse the same method and just change the scene number. We'll still set the debug mode to true. If you want to turn it all off, you can just do replace or search for all of them in the code in VS Code. But right now, for our purposes, it's good to leave it on so we can more easily see where the obstacles are. As we only have two additional scenes past the first scene, scene two and scene three, I'll start off with the if statement. So if the scene is equal to two, and that scene number is an integer that we are incrementing when the player finds all the friends, then we'll uh, set the map file. Uh, in this case, we'll set it to the, the second scene, which is happy underscore map dot tmx. And we're filling in the string here so that it's not null. So in the case that there's some type of error, it's going to default to happy map.tmx. As the default values are for the scene two, we don't actually need to set anything else in the if statement. We will for uh, scene three. Maybe we can adjust the player's position, George's position, as well as the map file. But for scene two, we'll just have a statement saying that it's moving to map two. Well, then load the map file and load the rest of the components on the scene. So we'll first add home map. So it's the base map. Then we'll just calculate the map width and height again. Even though it's redundant, we'll just, uh, probably the easiest thing to do is just to add it in again. If we're doing it from the beginning and we had planned for levels from the beginning, we probably organize this differently. However, since we're pretty close to getting to a stable state of the game, we'll just continue on with this path and we'll just recalculate the map width and the map height for every every map. So even though this uh, formula, this algorithm's redundant from the top, we'll just use it here. And so we'll use this, this method for scenes two, three, four, five, depending on how many we create. So add beta goods, load the friends, load the obstacles. We'll add George, and we'll have the camera follow George. Remember, we have the camera following a component, and the component is George. The world balance is just a rectangle that's the size of the map. Uh, we may have different sized maps, so not so we do need to recalculate the map width and the map the map height for every map. Because different scenes it may be you know longer uh, up and down or it may be uh, wider across. Okay, let's reload it and uh, we'll test it out. So I'll skip through portion of the game here so we get to the end of scene one. Yep, and it does work. We're on scene two. And we can make this map fancier at any time. It's a kind of a bare bones one right here. 
the player uh, doesn't move until the text uh, disappears. So we'll, we'll test it out and see if we can get to level three. So I don't think I actually inserted the uh, if statement for scene number three. And also this, I don't think I put the map in for scene three. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll first have a kind of a debugging message here so that we know that it's moving to scene three, just in case the map doesn't load. Then we'll have the, the name of the map file, which is not in the tiles directory. So we built the map, but we need to move it in. This is also from the Lime Zoo tile set and the Lime Zoo demo files. I'm using a single PNG file for ease of use right now so that I don't have to build the actual map file. And this single uh, map file is actually just based off of Lime Zoo's demos uh, that he put up on the, the tile set site. So although we can build it from the tiles, uh, I'm just using a single image right now. I had to run flutter pub get, and then I actually stopped the game and restarted it. Then everything started to uh, work and look pretty good. Okay, you should be off and running and able to kind of experiment with some much nicer maps right now. We don't have the all the obstacles blocked out for George yet. Um, this is just a kind of a sample to see whether we could get to the third scene or not. And it could be a lot of fun to make some indoor uh, spaces for George. You know, we could block out the walls and maybe maybe even put the uh, pastries, the baked goods in some type of bakery. That would be cool. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.